Hello, today I'm going to tell you about micro and macroeconomics. Economics is a very wide subject, so it has been divided into two parts, microeconomics and macroeconomics. And the main objective of taking up the study is uh, that by the end you will come to know which are the topics which can be which are studied under microeconomics and which come under macroeconomics. So here we go. You can see that uh, this is microeconomics. What does it mean? Can you read that? Well, it's derived. Micro is derived from the Greek word micros, which which means small. So you're talking about when we study economics in parts. It is known as microeconomics. It can be uh, when you're talking about individual parts, when you're talking about individual units. Let's take demand, demand for a product. Let's take supply, supply of a product. All this comes under microeconomics. You must have seen I've underlined I in micro. I is for individual. So in microeconomics, we do the individual parts. Is that clear, all of you? So microeconomic studies behavior of small economic units of an economy. For example, individual consumers, producers, all that. It talks about pricing, product pricing. It talks about factor pricing, factors of production, pricing of each factor. For example, rent wages, etc. Uh, that's also very interesting. So you, we study the theory of demand or the theory of production, the theory of cost of production, cost that is, we study about revenue, all that under microeconomics. That's the scope. We also speak about or talk about welfare economics. That comes under microeconomics. So uh, with that, we take up the other part which is known as macroeconomics. So this is microeconomics. So we'll discuss that and now I'm going to tell you about macroeconomics. So this is, uh, this is what I've just written a little for you to understand what is macroeconomics. So macro, macroeconomic deals not with individual quantities, but with aggregates of these quantities. So we are talking about the entire income. We are not talking about individual incomes. We are talking about the national income. So that, that comes under macroeconomics. So we are not talking about an individual producer's output. We are talking about the national output. So in a way, uh, the scope of my macroeconomics is uh, we could take theory of income and employment. Uh, we can talk about general price level. We talk about theory of economic growth and development. And then uh, we talk, and of course, sustainable growth. That is in keeping with the future generations. And we also talk about theory of international trade. All this is studied under macroeconomics. Is that clear, all of you? Now, I'm going to give you an assignment based on this. Uh, okay, and another thing. Uh, have you seen? I've just underlined A under macro. So A means aggregates, totality. So it studies the economy as a whole. That's what you see. So now, uh, if you've understood microeconomics and macroeconomics, basically it just means that. And then we're going to do a little bit. We're going to give you an assignment, number three, on micro and macroeconomics. So you can see that. So what do you mean by microeconomics? First question. Second, what do you mean by macroeconomics? And question number three is a little interesting, which will let me know your the learning outcome. The objective was to let you all, my objective was to let you know what comes under which study. So these are some statements 
uh, like for example a household income the allocation of resources welfare economics factor pricing product pricing shoe industry general price level economic growth and development inflow of foreign exchange and level of output of an economy all this you will tell me under what heading will you put it micro or macro so having uh, given you giving you this uh, assignment number 3 let's go to assignment number 2 that was concerning the economic activities that we did in the previous class what are economic activities so the answer is all activities which we perform in exchange for money or things of value the second question was what are the types of economic activities well there are four types of economic activities production consumption distribution and exchange the third question was do all of these economic activities generate income no consumption is an important economic activity but it does not generate income because it is concerned with the use of income that is why and the fourth question is which economic activity is concerned with the use of income well i'm sure you know that is consumption question 5 what do you mean by non economic activity all activities which we perform for our own satisfaction these are not in exchange for money so they are generally done activities done gladly or for our own personal satisfaction so question number 6 is can the activity teaching be both economic activity and non economic activity absolutely if i teach in a school for a salary it will be under economic activity so i'm getting something in return but if i'm teaching my own child at home then that's going to be a non economic activity so we'll meet again